Um, so my iPad was like super dying and not working well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our unit one lesson two notes from my computer. And what sucks about that, what's rather unfortunate about that, I mean, is I can't write for you. So I'm just going to read through the key with you. Um, it's not ideal, but we are all doing our best here. So. Our goal is that by the end of the day, you will be able to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane. Now what that means is, when I say the coordinate plane, I mean this graph looking guy right here. Um, so basically you want to find the distance between point one, this first pink point and the second, what is that, orange? The second orange point. Sure. Orange. Okay. Now the distance formula um, will help you find the distance between any two points by plugging in that information into the formula. So you'll recall that when you go to graph any point, that point has an x value and has a y value. The x tells you how far over to the right you wanna go, and the y value tells you how far over, or up or down, sorry. Um, x is right or left, y is up or down. So we mark them with the little ones, so you know that that's for point one, the first point, and we mark with the little twos for the second point. So our overall distance formula is a rather is a is rather is a rather radical idea because it's got a big old radical in it. Let's go ahead and add this to your notes. We said distance is the square root of this whole thing of x two minus x one squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now this x2, that's the x-coordinate of your second point, and x1 is the x-coordinate of your first point, and y2 is the y-coordinate of your second point, y1 of your first point. Let's go ahead and plug in a couple examples. For our first one, we find the distance by first labeling what is what. We wanna figure out, okay, what information do I have, and how can I use it? So, negative 6 is our x1, negative 4 is y1, negative 6 is x2, and 8 is y2. So we copy the distance formula down first. I'll, that way, and copy it down, it'll help you remember it too. x2 is negative 6, so we're going to plug that in, negative 6. x1 is also negative 6, <laughs> and then minus a negative becomes positive. And then y2 is 8, and y1 is negative 4, but minus negative 4 becomes plus 4. Then, negative 6 plus 6 is 0, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So, so far we have the square root of 0 squared, which is 0, plus 12 squared, which is 144. And 0 plus 144 is just 144. So we calculate the square root of 144 is 12. So those points are 12 away from each other. We follow the same process for number two. First, we look at the information that we have and we figure out what can I do with that information. So what do we know? We know that five is our x and eight is our y for our first point. So that's x1, y1. And then for our second point, um, zero is our x and eight is our y. So that's our x2, y2. We're going to take that information and plug it into our distance formula. x2 is 0, x1 is 5, y2 is 8, y1 is also 8. So that's going to work out real nice. It's going to be 0. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5, and zero mi sorry, 8 minus 8 is 0. So we have negative 5 squared plus 0 squared is 25 plus 0. The square root of all of that is 5. Sweet, I just gave you a thumbs up, but you can't see it. So that's how to plug numbers into the distance formula. Next, we're going to use some visuals first. We're gonna graph them. So here, I mean, it kind of gives it away. And so it's a bummer that I can't animate it and write it for you because we, we have big old spoilers here, but that's okay. So first we plot our point G and G says go over nine and down four. And then H says, go over two and up 10. So we have a little pink G and a little orange H. 
we plug them into our formula. So we've got our x1, or x2, x1, mm, x2 minus x1 squared minus y2 minus y1 squared. And then once we get all those numbers plugged in, and we clean it up again, we'll see our second to last step, our second to last line gives us negative 7 squared plus 14 squared. This negative 7 comes in handy because that's the change in x. In our very top, we have x2 minus x1. That's how our x is changing. So we're moving our point back. We're changing x7. We're going back 7. Similarly, this 14, that shows how y is changing. Hey, nice. Man, that's going to be forever. <laughs> anyway, so we have the y2 minus y1. That's changing. So we went up 14. That's the change. So we're hoping to find that distance right there. Isn't that so cool? I think that's so cool. So anyway, so negative 7 squared is 14. Four, I'm sorry, not 14. 49. I'm reading ahead. 14 squared is 196. You add them up, you get 245. But that square root doesn't come out nice. You get 15.7 um, approximately. So we'll go with approximately. So these two points are about, oh, check that out. That's fun. Are about... 16 units away from each other. For our last example is really basic, actually. So that's fun. We have 0, 4, and 3, 0. So those lines lie straight on our axes. Go over 0, sorry, yeah, over 0, up 4, it's our pink guy. And then over 3, up 0, is our orange guy. I'm trying to highlight there case. So now let's plug our x1, y1, x2, y2 into our formula. That would give us 3 minus 0 squared plus 0 minus 4 squared. So we have 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. Notice we go over 3, down 4. That's our change. That's how we're finding our distance. So that gives us the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the square root of 25, which is 5. Thank you for working with me as we are facing technical difficulties today. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful time calculating distance from your homework, for your homework that is, um, while maintaining social distance. Have a great time!